What's up guys, Peter here from Reviews on Anything, and in this review we're having a look at a backpack. This is a, uh, as you can probably tell by all the uh, bells and whistles, uh, sort of a climbing, hiking, camping kind of uh, backpack from a company called Malroads. Uh, it's a Chinese company and that is usually associated with a lot of uh, plastic and bad quality, uh, but not in this case, it's actually a quite a nice backpack. Uh, it has a 50 liter carrying capacity and it comes with quite a few uh, nice touches. And since it doesn't really fit in the frame when I lay it down, uh, and it's actually more interesting to see how it looks on a person anyway, I thought we would do this review standing up. So let's get started. Um, obviously you can tell that this is the uh, sort of army green version, but it comes in a whole variety of colors. Uh, 50 liters like I said, so uh, plenty of loading capacity. Um, and how, what I like most about this backpack is that they kept it uh, reasonably simple. Uh, it has a large, obviously, main compartment. And that's really it. Uh, so they haven't fiddled around with too many little extra pockets and pouches and so on. Uh, there's a few obviously, uh, but this sort of main compartment is uh, pretty much the main story. In here is a little pouch for your uh, Camelback water uh, pack, which actually has the opening out here. So that's a, a nice feature, especially when you go hiking uh, or camping and you're you know, walking bigger distances. It's nice to have your uh, water in, in the backpack uh, where it sits nice and tight. It doesn't slosh around too much and you always have access to your uh, little straw. Then there's a little uh, top pocket here obviously for your phone, uh, you know, things that you need uh, quickly. And that's really all there is uh, as far as pockets are concerned. There's a little extra sort of flap here on the front. Uh, I suppose you can use that for maybe sleeping bag or a tent. Uh, something that just uh, you know sticks out in the back and there's an extra little zipper here on the front for maybe some Passports or food or snacks things that you carry around and want to have access to quickly uh, That's as far as uh, storage for this backpack goes as you can see for a 50 liter backpack It's not a small backpack by any means obviously uh, But let me put it on for you. You'll see that a 50 liter backpack uh, you know it doesn't look all too shabby on a person. It's not overly huge. Uh, that said, I am uh, over 200 pounds and over six foot one, so you know I'm not a small guy. And definitely for smaller people, uh, it'll look a bit bigger. But in general, I think it looks uh, pretty good. Luckily, even for smaller people, uh, there's a lot of adjustment. Obviously, you can adjust the shoulder straps right here. There's a chest strap here that is actually elastic, so you can make this nice and tight as well. And the hip band here, obviously, uh, also fully adjustable with the buckle, so you can make it uh, nice and tight, like so. Make sure everything sits, and you can actually walk around without the backpack, you know, moving around too much, which obviously uh, is what you want, especially when you're doing any kind of hiking with any kind of weight in the backpack. There's two more uh, clips here on the front. Uh, you can clip pretty much anything on there from your water bottle if you don't want to carry uh, the Camelback. Uh, but also things like GPS maybe, or phone, or a solar charger, you know, anything that you really need to have on the go, you can clip it on here. So it's a nice uh, little extra touch. Another nice touch is the rain pack that is included here on the back. It has a little uh, flap that says rain cover, because obviously you don't want any kind of sudden downpour ruining your backpack. And you get this high visibility uh, cover that's always, you know, available to you right there. Uh, to cover your backpack and make sure all your belongings stay dry. Now it's made of waterproof nylon, so you know, a little light shower, uh, no problem, all your stuff inside will stay dry. Uh, you know, you've got to be careful a little bit with this flap since it's open. Uh, but in essence, you should be fine. Uh, but yeah, for real downpour, you use the rain cover. So that's a nice little smart extra. Here on the side, you have a mesh pocket on each side. Again, maybe for water bottles, uh, drink, or you know, anything that you. Uh, want to have quick access to. Obviously there's the pockets here on the hip belt as well, which I always find a bit uh, useless. I can't really imagine what you put in there. There's no real space, uh, as you can see, to put something in there, especially when it's tied around your waist. Uh, you can maybe put like a protein bar in there or something, or like a quick snack, but other than that, I always find those a bit redundant, uh, to be honest. Uh, and that's all there is to see uh, pretty much around the backpack. Now the main feature, or main feature, one of the most important features, is this mesh here uh, between your back and the actual backpack. As you can see, I can put my hand through. And the, the structure of the backpack, actually there's a steel 
um, sort of frame back here that gives the whole backpack structure. As you can see, I can't really, uh, it doesn't fall onto itself, which is really nice because it makes the backpack sort of a bit more rigid and gives you that upright feel uh, that is yeah, so nice and comfortable. And with this mesh sort of suspension system, uh, in theory, uh, you get some ventilation uh, behind here. You don't start sweating on your back so much. Uh, in practice, I never really find these ventilation systems working because you can see this is still flexible enough. So if you put the backpack nice and tight, that means this will be tight and it will be against the backpack anyway. Um, and when this is tight against your back, you will sweat uh, there as well. So I, I never really, um, I wouldn't say I be don't believe them. I mean, in theory, it all works. Uh, but I find in practice that this sort of mesh uh, construction, it doesn't really do anything for me. Now, usually um, backpacks uh, like these, especially when you go you know, a bit fancy uh, for Norwegian brands or so on, are easily several hundred euros. Not this one though, that's actually maybe the surprise of the whole story. Uh, this is just over 30 euro. Um, so not expensive at all if you uh, look at it, it's sort of the bigger picture of hiking brands out there. Um, now cheaper products usually mean worse products because uh, you know the, the money has to be saved somewhere. Uh, but I have to say for 30, a little bit over 30 euro, you get a pretty awesome backpack. Um, it does everything it needs to do in reasonable style uh, with all the adjustments uh, and all the sort of extra nice little features uh, like the camel back, like the clips, uh, like the rain cover here. Um, I think you're getting a pretty good deal and uh, so far I haven't really found any real flaws with it. Um, it does exactly what it needs to do. It's comfortable. Uh, thanks to the adjustability you can make sure it's comfortable um, and it does the job really well. Uh, so I think this is, uh, I wouldn't say the bargain of the century, but it's, uh, it's a pretty good value uh, for your money. And if you're looking for sort of an entry level hiking backpack, that's the one for you. And even if you, you know, just go on the occasional camping trip or uh, you can even wear this when you're doing any kind of skiing or snowboarding or cross country, that kind of work in winter, uh, look no further. If you don't want to spend much money, uh, this is definitely one for you. And especially because it comes in different colors, uh, you can certainly find one that fits your taste. This is Peter from Reviews and Anything with a look at the Melrose uh, hiking and camping backpack. Good product for a good price uh, and definitely recommendable if you're into uh, the whole hiking and outdoor game. Hope you guys liked the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!